For all predator fishermen, they are up to realistic baits. Here I have a secret for you. This is the Kick Tease ST. It comes in two sizes, in 15 and in 9 centimeters. This bait is a very slim bait with a specific formed paddle tail at the end. It makes a high vibration swimming action underwater, which creates a vibration especially zander and perch loves very much. This is a big one and that is a small size in 9 cm. Important, we have a big range of colors to cover clear and dark water. This is the mix we have done for dark water and I will explain you a little bit more about the colors. So inside this tray you find four colors if you go for the dark mix. The bright ones are perfectly for these kind of circumstances, whenever you have water and the clearance, let's say 50 centimeters visibility and, le and less. Whenever the water is getting clearer, you have clear sky and a visibility of probably a meter, meter, two, three, very, very clear, clear water, you go for the clear water mix. Also four colors, as you can see, very natural colors, brown colors, which makes a good imitation of a um, grundlefish, goby, um, or a real smelt color, a perch, something like that. This is always appreciated by all these predators when the water is clear. Now I want to show you how to rig the Kick Tease ST. The 15 cm version has an inner hole which goes from nose down to the bottom here, all through the bait, which makes it easy to rig a stinger. Secondly, there is a vertical hole as well, as you can see it here, and this makes it easy to choose the right jig hook it always comes out the right place. You will never have any problems with rigging it. This is perfectly rigged. I show you how to do it. First of all, you choose the right hook size. A 5.0, it's perfect for that, but you know, in many tackle shops, you have 5.0s, 4.0s, they have a little bit of variation. So, but it's easy because you take your lure and you go into the shop and you find the right hook. The right hook here, where you see the gap, has to come out where the vertical hole is. That means you just Put it in here where the nose is and you just let the complete bait run through like that and it comes automatically you see where the vertical hole is it's so easy and you bring it back like that and it's done straight always straight even a novice can do that and you have a perfect swimming bait or what you need to catch fish but there is another big advantage on this vertical hole because what we figured out during many, many years of fishing with soft baits, that especially the zander and the perch, they always attack the bait by the head. What they do, they swallow it in, and once they have swallowed it, the complete bait will be turned like that in the mouth. So all anglers that ever caught a fish on a soft bait, they know this situation when the shed is looking this way out of the mouth. So he's folding it together, and by having this vertical hole, the complete folding, makes it much easier with a big result because you have more strikes and more results at the end because you lose less fish because you hook more fish. Very simple, very easy and this is the way how we rig it, how we fish it and they also come pre-rigged but not with jig head because we don't know where you fish. You fish shallow, you, you use lighter jig heads or you fish deeper water so you need heavier jig heads already rigged with a stinger as I mentioned because they have this horizontal hole from nose down to the belly and you can also fish it like before with a jig head you just rig it and you have here in front you have a little eyelet you just open it I do it this way you open it you have a little loop here and this loop you put later on over the eyelet of the jig head this is one possibility very easy and works 100% especially when you still have good strikes but sometimes you know the fish is shaking the head and then it gets loose and by using a stinger it will spill somewhere here around the mouth. You can still use a jig hook plus the stinger you go with the loop over the eyelet of the jig hook and then it's fixed. This is one option and what I like to do is I fish a lot of drop shot fishing sometimes a little heavier in the rivers or when I have to do it for zander in deeper lakes and I use it the following way. I open the loop like that. I have prepared here my, my drop shot rig. I use, um, I use a, single, a single quite big drop shot hook size 4.0 and I go with the loop through 
the hook. All these kick tees, pre-rigged ones, they have a little rubber bead. This stopper will close the loop. So this one is already fixed perfectly. And what you then do is you just do nose hooking like that. So you have your bait nose hooked this way. The complete action is still there, 100% working. So once you have a strike on the head, everything is fine because the hook here will, will work. Or you have one of these nibblers at the end, especially in very, very difficult conditions, it's very useful to have this stinger. Last tip, because Texas and Carolina rig fishing is getting more and more popular. This Kick Tees ST in 15 centimeter does have also a very good opening here on the belly which makes it easier for offset hooks. And it's so easy to rig because it's not open with a split, but in a different way because of this vertical hole. You hook it like that, like you normally do it. You go there where the offset hook is bent. And then you see the opening from the vertical hole has a little split here. And you go in, it comes out on top. Here it is. So you have a very, very nice weedless way of rigging due to this vertical hole. Once you get a strike, the hook comes out far easier and you have more success with it. So you see one lure with so many variation and options to use it fishing soft baits for pike, perch, zander, bass, whatever you like. And it's a secret, believe me, when you fish for sea bass, they love it as well.